Hey everyone, welcome to this EMT prep education segment video. We're going to be discussing anaphylaxis, basically what's going on on the cellular level with your patients that are experiencing it, and also some things to think about when you're treating and examining the patients that you see in the field that are suffering from this condition. The easiest way to describe it is when, let's say, a bee stings uh, one of your patients. The bee releases these triangle-shaped antigens, and those fit directly into this pink Y-shaped looking structure called an antibody. When the antibody receives an antigen, it basically kickstarts the process of anaphylaxis. When that occurs, these blue looking cells release chemical mediators. The mass release of chemical mediators has a profound effect on the body, mainly four areas, and let's take a look at each one. The first is the heart. Cardiac output is going to be decreased in the presence of anaphylaxis. Second is the blood vessels themselves. The blood vessels are going to become leaky due to increased permeability of the capillary membranes. And we'll see vasodilation as well. Third, is the lungs. Your patients will be experiencing bronchoconstriction and bronchospasm. Lastly is the skin. This is the most obvious outward sign that your patients are going to present with. This is seen in the presence of urticaria and swelling otherwise known as edema. So that's a quick look at anaphylaxis and what's going on on the cellular level as well as what's going on both inside and outwardly with your patients that are experiencing this. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos, as well as look at our website, emtprep.com, for more great free training.